and both of them want to fulfill that dream. One of them will do so here very shortly. Both players tremendously experienced, very savvy, and right now it's going to be on Paul Phillips in the heads-up competition to make a decision first. He looks down at the jack eight of diamonds. It's an interesting hand. 250. He's going to raise it, makes it 250,000 to go. Well, he's going to use the advantage of that button. I'll tell you, it's no advantage now because Dewey's got a real hand. He's got a pair of nines. All in. And he's gone all in with them. He's taken the two nines. He's come over the top. He's going to put him to the test here. Oh, he just shoves Paul right back into his place. Well, you know, Paul's got a big chip lead. He might be tempted to gamble, but he knows he doesn't want to double up a guy like Dewey. It's just too tough to get his chips. Now, the strategy of going all in takes all the question marks out of the equation. And recognize that even though Paul has a big chip lead now, if Dewey wins two consecutive pots of all-in status, he will be the chip leader. So it turns around quickly and no limit hold him. How much more is it? And Paul knows if he calls us and happens to knock him out, he is the champ. That's going to cost him 570000 more to call. Oh, God. He could afford to make the call because he's got over $5 million in chips. But do you want to gamble here? Do you want to double up Dewey Tomko right here this early on the final table? Paul Phillips looking like he's got that quick headache. This has got to hurt. Well, he's got an interesting decision, Vince. That's a big mistake on my part. I should never lay this down here, but... Well, he's saying he made a mistake. Well, I'm not sure he did make That's it. That's not the hand I want to double you up with. I don't know that you want to double up Dewey right here at this stage. Well, Dewey had the real hand. I'll tell you this, though. Gus would have called. <laughs> uh, he's right about that. <laughs> he's right. That one is a guarantee. I believe he would have with over $5 million in chips. He would have called another 470000 So the key to Paul Phillips right now since he is the major chip leader, is not to make a crucial mistake at this time. He doesn't want to do anything foolish to double up Dewey, to give him confidence. And let's not forget, at the bike, when he played the final table, he made a few mistakes when he had a lot of chips. Maybe he'll learn from that. Action's going to be on Paul Phillips this time. The person on the button acts first, playing heads up before the flop, and acts last after the flop and thereafter. This time, dot com has Jack 8 off suit. He opts to call the other 50,000. And look at this. Oh, the finger's going up with an abysmal hand, 5-3 of hearts. He's got five high. He comes over the top. A horrific hand, but it's going to work with the all-in bet. Now, folks, this is a poker lesson you should all recognize. In No Limit Hold'em, you don't have to pick up cards necessarily. You have to play your opponent. He sensed Paul was trying to get in there for a cheap flop which indeed he was. He thought if he moved in, Paul would throw his cards away. That's exactly what happened. Give Dewey credit for the way he played that hand, Vince. Brilliant poker. Oh, well, a great strategy going on here by Dewey right now. There he picks away $220,000, and it's going to be right back on him. This time he's going to stare at a 10-9. All in. He's doing it again. He's going. He's done it again, Vince. Yeah, he's getting carried away now. He's going all in once again with a mediocre hand. Now, Paul he's seen Dewey go all in a couple times in a row. He's getting annoyed now. He's got king six in his hand. He has king high. Now, Dewey has over 900,000 in chips, so it's not really the kind of hand you want to double him up with. But on the other oh, hand, oh, it shows you that, again, Dewey had the worst hand, yet he earned the pot fence. And this is making Paul Phillips right now get a little hot under the collar. He's starting to worry a little bit here. He's letting Dewey peck away at him. Dewey is chopping out, as we say. And when you're chopping out these blinds and annies, you're doing pretty good because you pick up 170000 at a pop. So Dewey does it again. Very impressive tactic here. And he's earned three pots in a row, Vince, because he's made that aggressive bet of all in. And it's on Dewey once again. All in. All in. <laughs> well, he picks up a nice hand this time. Ace, 10 of spade. He goes all in. And you see the frustration of Paul. He looks at a 7-3. He can't call him. Well, this time, Dewey had a strong hand. He had Ace, 10 of spade. But who cares? I mean, he does the same thing no matter what now. But Paul is just saying to himself, why can't I get one hand against this guy? That's all I need. I can bust him. Paul Phillips, though, has not made the mistake. He's keeping his ego out of this at this point. Very smart. He sees the strategy that's taking place here now. 
There's going to be no more playing. We're going to have a showdown for this money here shortly. Don't touch that remote. We'll be right back with more from the Bellagio in just a moment. in the Five Diamond World Poker Classic. We started with 314 players. We are down to two. Heads up action for the title and over a million in cash, Vince. It has been an amazing ride here. I cannot believe it. Is destiny on Paul Phillips' side tonight. We're down to two. Let's go to the table. Well, Vince, Paul's admitted that he's not really playing for the money here. He's got plenty of money. He really wants to win a title on the World Poker Tour. And who knows if he'll ever have a better opportunity than this. Paul Phillips shows a lot of emotion, yet absolutely poker savvy. Well, very composed today, though, I must say that. And Dewey Tomko, he's going to give the finger again. He's going all in. I can't believe this. All in. These cards marked. Well, Paul Phillips is going to give him the finger back here in a minute. Man. <laughs> Paul dropping 4-3. This guy is right now a runaway train. I mean, he has just left the station. He is going in full gear. It is absolutely brilliant. Dewey Tomko. How far is he going to slide before Paul Phillips picks him off? That is the question. Well, Dewey creeping back in this match right now. He's got about 1.2 million. He started the heads up with around 700. This is getting very interesting. Action is on Paul. He looks down at a five deuce. Well, that's a religious hand. You need a prayer to win it. Pretty horrible. 250. Well, he's going to try. He's bet 250,000 the with go. the five oh, high, yeah. but look at Dewey. Oh, right behind him. <laughs> all in again like he's swatting flies there. <laughs> oh, you're really getting me with uh, Dewey moves all in, in the bad falls. spots. The Dewey machine goes over the top with ace four. But give Paul credit. He tried to win the pot, Vince. He just couldn't do it. Dewey took it right oh. away from him. And look at this. He's got Paul to start <laughs> whistling. And usually in poker, that's not a good sign. <laughs> Well, Vince, we've seen nothing but all-ins by Dewey Tomko so far. And there's a saying in poker, Vince, that play works every time but once. Well, he is fighting hard, doing everything he can to hang in there. <laughs> uh, Dewey's going to fling away in. once again. He has a 10-9 offsuit, and he's gone all-in again. And this time, Paul Phillips has got a real hand. He's got queen-10 of diamonds. I'm not sure it's a real hand when your opponent bets a million dollars at you. count on that. Well, you've got to make a stand sometime. He's bet over a million dollars at this pot. Just about a million more. Okay. Now he squirms in his seat. Well, he's really going to squirm if he folds his hand when he sees Dewey's cards. He's in a dominating position with a queen ten of diamonds versus a ten nine off suit. Welcome to Paul's poker pain party. <laughs> it's just getting worse and worse right now for him. I mean, you think you could relax? You have all those chips. Believe me, Paul Phillips is not going to relax till that trophy is in his hands. Otherwise, he's going to be stressed out and lose what little hair he's got. Now, this is a very smart guy. He realized what happened in the tournament at the bike before. He doesn't want to make the same mistake, doing everything he can to keep his composure. He's got a pretty good hand. Yes, he does. I love his instincts here. He's got a hunch Dewey's pulling the rug out from under him time and time again. If he only knew... <laughs> what we do, oh. he'd be jumping for joy and have his chips in there in one second. Looks like a coin flip. I'm thinking about it. You see that, Paul Vance? He wanted to flip a coin game. whether it calls it or not. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Boy, here it'd be better off to pull out a two-headed coin and call heads, I'll tell you that. That's the way you bet football, I heard. Man, that's as good a way as any, I'll tell you that I, much. I'm right with you, my brother. <laughs> Look at Paul looking right back. Now, folks, remember, Dewey's just gone all in and all in and all in and all in continuously here until it's driven him mad. Eventually, you're going to have to draw your sword in the sand and make a stand here. If Paul does it here, he'll be in great shape. Well, this heads up competition is going on so long, Paul's hair is starting to grow back. Look at this. And I think it's starting to fall out a little. You know, you can't say he has a poker face. I'm sorry. He's a great poker player, you but... You see, it's pain. You know, you don't <laughs> want to double up Dewey and give him over a couple million in chips here, which is what would happen if he'd lose this pot. I dominate half the hands you might hold, and I'm dominated by the other half. Well, you're not going to get anything looking at Dewey, I'll tell you that. Look at that face. 
and he lays it down. He is going to lay it down. And if Dewey only knew how lucky he was that hand, that Paul laid that hand down. He came close to pulling the trigger there, Vince. He really did. He's getting frustrated. You see, he wants to play. He's dying to play a pot. Interesting tactic. He realizes he's still way out in front. He's not mm -hmm. going to gamble at this point. It's just a matter of time, he figures. Sometime I have to pick up a hand when he does this. Don't I? That's what he's thinking. Oh. Where is it? It makes a difference sometimes. He wants to get his money in with the best hand, if at all possible. And here we go again. 1.1 million to the winner. Dewey looks at a king eight. All in. Why doesn't that surprise me? He's doing it again. I call. But Paul Phillips has picked up a pair this time and says, I call you. He's picked up Sunset Strip 77. So he's got two sevens. Now remember, that was his lucky hand at the Legends of Poker when he outdrew TJ Cloutier, who had two jacks. He spiked the seven to make three sevens to win it. Will they hold up against Dewey? Well, can it get lucky today? It is in front. We know that. Here's the flop. Oh, he spiked three sevens on the flop. Oh, tremendous for Paul. But Dewey has flopped a flush draw, Vince. Yes, he has. He can win if a spade comes up. Dewey would love to double up with his flush draw. It's like playing online. Can he make it happen? Here we go with the turn. No, it's not going to do it. It's a three of hearts. Now, right now, Dewey Tomko has to catch a spade that doesn't pair the board to stay alive in this tournament. If he doesn't, Paul Phillips will be our champion. Here we go with the river, the cash card. Queen. He's done Paul it. He's held him off. Champion. Paul Phillips is our champion. Finally, he picked up a pair. He got in a race situation. He won the race against Gus. He won the race against Dewey. He is our champion. Oh, this is beautiful. He was pushed around in the heads-up competition all night long. But finally, the patience and the perseverance of Paul Phillips pays off with a huge win here. And he's going to be our champion. And look at this, he's going to run over to his wife in the stand. He is going to pick up $1.1 million. But what a great effort by the Florida Poker Rounder. Dewey carried the torch for the poker veterans very well here tonight. What a performance by Dewey Tomko. So it got calm. the rich get richer. He wanted the title, he got the title. Well, Vince, I know this means everything to him. He had a chance at the Bicycle Casino. He didn't do it. He's done it here tonight at Bellagio, and I guarantee you he's feeling great. Classic Championship we had here at Bellagio. At this time, we want to have a toast to our champion with the beer of choice of poker players, Anheuser World Select. So let's break out the beer and we'll toast our champion. Here's to our champion of the Five Diamond World Poker Classic, Mr. Paul Phillips. And now for Shauna Hyatt and Vince Van Patten, I'm Mike Sexton saying thanks for joining us on the World Poker Tour. Until next time, may all your cards be live and your pots be monsters. Here we go, here we go, Mike. Here, try some of this. Bang, bang. Oh, put that in your pipe and smoke it. The real beauty of the World Poker Tour. You play until you go broke. All in. He says, I'm all in. Well, you're right, well, you're right, Mike. Well, you're right, well, you're right, Mike. Whoa. He's all in. Can you believe this? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. Oh. Gone. Out of here. Out of here. Out of here. Out of here. Bang. Gone. Well, you're right, Mike. That's got to spin. Absolutely. He's all in. All in. Yeah, he's got to love that. Got to love, got to love, got to love that. Well, he says you may have wrote the book and you may be the godfather, but here. Try some of this. Bang. Oh. Oh, yeah, he's got to love that. Show tunes going off in your head. Going off in your head. Got to love that. Whoa. We look forward to seeing you next season on the World Poker Tour. Oh, no, I wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs>